Hey guys, welcome to my channel Data Driven Decision. In this channel, I talk about the data science and machine learning kind of stuff. If you are down for that, please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of awesome videos I make for data science. So today is topic is all about the covariates, bivariate data, and the correlation coefficient. So what are the things we are going to learn today? One is the bivariate data. Bivariate data. Okay. Second is the covariance. And third is the correlation coefficient. Coefficient. Okay. Okay. So, what is the bivariate data means? This is the bivariate data. So, what does it mean? So bivariate data is nothing but the two data sets all together. Like earlier, suppose you have a data table. Suppose there is a person, person, and another one is the their income. Okay, so person could be suppose person one, person two, person four. Okay, so if we just only only consider this only. Okay, if you only consider this. Then this is the univariate. Univariate data. Yeah. But along with this, if you have a data set of uh, their income, like suppose 10,000, 20,000, okay, 30,000, 40,000. Okay, so if you have those data also, in that case what you can do is that uh, this is going to be a another univariate data but if you consider both all together if you consider both all together so this is going to be a bivariate data okay this is a bivariate data so why we need the bivariate data we need bivariate data to uh, understand the correlation or covariance the two data set suppose for this particular example person uh, it will not be exact uh, good example the, i think the example would be suppose their income suppose their income is <clears throat> okay so their income and their years of experience Years of experience. Suppose they have ex two years of experience, three years of experience, four years of experience, five years of experience, six years of experience. Okay, and their income is around uh, twenty thousand. This is the uh, thirty thousand. Similar way. Suppose it is again thirty thousand. Is going to be sixty thousand. Okay, it is going to be around uh, 70,000. Okay, so in this way, there is particular uh, two data sets. So how you can find out the covariance of these two data sets? Covariance means the how one data set like income is dependent on the experiences. So I'd like to mention one thing over here is that covariance is always not the result of the causality. So suppose in that particular example, from intuition, we can think of as the experiences increases the income also increases but it is not always the case okay so for this example maybe the there is a cause and effect for this example like your experiences increases your income is also increases okay so that's the cause and effect but for the covariance it is not always the case there is a possibility that there is no any causation but arbitrarily there is a relationship of positive covariance or negative covariance okay so that is also possible in uh, covariance so what is the formula of covariance suppose there are two data points this is the x this is y so how you can do that you can just take like this like x i minus x mean mean value into y i minus y mean okay 
then you just take the i equals to 1 to n okay then this is the basically the n okay just take a root of it the square root of this then this is the 1 to n so this is basically the covariance formula okay this is the basically covariance formula over here like it's just a variance but in the variance what you are trying to do we just take the square of the differences then it take the sum of all the squares then it take the square root of it okay uh, 